tracking the tropics tonight as hurricane season begins. Experts have been warning this year could be more active. Those experts are watching what's called the Gulf Loop Current. It's a large pool of hot water about 100 miles west of Tampa Bay. Our chief meteorologist Jeff Veradelli is here to explain. Jen, Josh, the Gulf Loop Current originates as deep tropical water that comes out of the Caribbean through the Yucatan Straits and then it intrudes into the Gulf of Mexico. The Loop Current often breaks off into what we call warm core eddies and when hurricanes meet up with these warm cores, explosive development usually follows. One of the big problems in current forecasting is what happens during rapid intensity change and that affects everyone in the Gulf, particularly on the West Florida Shelf. Professor Nick Shea is based at the University of Miami, but he spends a lot of time studying the oceanic powder keg sitting right off Florida's west coast, the loop current. In a recent article, Shea warns that this year's loop current looks more ominous than it has in recent years. You can think of the loop current water as higher octane fuel at your fuel pump. That's steroids for hurricanes. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina and Rita, both explosively deepened over the loop current warm core. And last year, Hurricane Ida passed right through the loop current, its wind speeds spiking 65 miles an hour in just 24 hours, right before landfall. That big warm core eddy that energized Ida, it turns out that the heat content units were roughly 15 to 20 percent higher than they have been over the past decade or so, which leads me to believe that some of this has to be linked to a warming climate. Each year, ocean heat content sets new records. That's because 90 percent of the excess heat that humans are producing is stored in the ocean, and that comes back to haunt us. There's a uh, not just more heat transfer, but the heat transfer uh, tends to be longer. And that's because in the loop current, the warm water is much deeper, stopping the upwelling of cool water underneath the hurricane, keeping the supply of energy rich. And that helps shed light on another mystery of storm behavior, eye wall replacement cycles. Where these successful eye wall replacement cycles occur, is over the deep warm water. The reason is the ocean has to feed two eye walls and not just one. Shea's latest work is here on the leading edge of hurricane science, trying to better understand the interface between ocean and atmosphere by deploying high-tech floats, drifters, and gliders. This, he says, will help scientists analyze attributes of the loop current a key to forecasting the evolution of Gulf of Mexico monsters. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.